Um, is it served? It's serving. Thank you, sir. So we're about to start the women's semi-finals with the Swedish hopes, uh, only Swedish players left in this tournament. Uh, Emma Wengberg and Emily Lennartsson will play good Japanese team of um, Jonomoto Kuharu and uh, Yuriko Miko, Miki. On paper, the Swedes should be favorites, but of course, Japan has a lot of really, really strong woman doubles. So uh, it will be a stiff challenge here for Swedish pair they want to reach the final tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. And the uh, play is about to begin after a couple of practice services and a little bit more warm up by Emily Lenachon. So now the girls are ready and we will commence play. of the game, uh, long rally of the Japanese girls comes away with the first point in this match. in I think one yeah so it's one all good smash there by the Swedish girls
finally powering through. Giving a weaker and weaker offensive shot and finally the Japanese girl can't keep it inside the line so it's 2-1. Great rally, which uh, Emma Wengbar finally misses the net shot. Um, good work by both pairs. Turn by Emily, leaving the Japanese girl stranded and finding the weak little square in the corner. That's out. So far, four all. Ah. Emily misses that backhand cross. Fancy shot. And it's five four to Japan. Good return by Emma Wengberg. Gives Emily the opportunity to put that away and uh, even the score. Short return by the Japanese girls and uh, the Swedish girls can power through.
straight diagonal cross block gives Lennox on a wing barry. Seven all. finds the line, so it's eight wall. And um, the applause of the audience is the men's single semi-final that just ended in a very, very close third set, which Eric Pang defeated Emil Holtz with 21-19 in the third and deciding game. One is long and wide. Nine, seven. Ah. Uh, she missed that. Eight, nine. So only one point in it with the uh, Swedes one point ahead at 9-8 the Japanese girls to serve Inside the line, Nine, typical four. women doubles rally, long, long rally, which the Japanese came out ahead in after, after a lot of shots. So it's 9 all. Well out. The Japanese moves ahead. We both and Cohen with us from the Netherlands versus Lukas Moren and Wojciech Kudlarczyk from Poland. Umpire John Anderson, service judge Antonius Landry, Sport Schieter Racket Center. Good return once again by Emily Leonardson. It's 10 all. And uh, this point will decide who will get the sm slightest of advantages in the interval.
Ben. Slide. a good start for the Swedish girls there, the, the miss by Mickey. Smashing by Emily, but to me the need to exit the diagonal return shot by Mickey there, giving Japan 13-11. Feeling there from the Japanese girls, and put it away. And uh, getting a three point lead now. Swedish girls were covering. The Swedes will need to find their game now. Good rally and a good point for the Swedish girls there. 13. Just when Swedish girls were finding their play, it seems oh. like the Japanese girls come back and uh, still have a three point lead. It 
It's a little bit short and uh, that was punished by the Japanese girls. So it's 17-13 and uh, quite a large lead in this first game. Japanese girls. A long, long rally, but uh, Japanese girls comes out ahead of that. Now has a big lead with 18-13. She missed that. And only two points from taking the first set now for Japan. Barry and five game points for Kohara Miki. Emma missed that one as well, and it's 21-15 to Kohara and Miki taking the first game and uh, leading this semi-final over the Swedish girls. So we'll see if Lennartson and Wengberg can make a comeback or if tournament of the lose next game.
Japan mistake. Japanese girl seems very oh. strong in the defense and hard to get uh, shuttled down to the floor against. So it's uh, pretty hard, I guess. It's just hard work if that will be the tactics. Keep the ball in play and uh, not do any mistakes. So it's a flick serve, which uh, Emma had a problem retrieving, but she managed, and then the Japanese girl put it too far on the baseline and giving the Swedish girls 1-0 lead. And uh, poor serve. She tried to deceive and make the flick, but uh, it was uh, out on the side. A really good return by by Emily there, which gives uh, Emma setting her up for a good smash. Goes for the flick shot. And uh, Japanese girls make an easy mistake. And we have a 3 1 lead for. Emma and Emily. trying to influence the line judging. Well, anyway, it's 4-1 lead to the Swedes. Another oh. flick serve. Hey. Yeah. Miss hit by Emily. Gives a uh, short return. And uh, Emma Weinberg is unable to retrieve that smash. Play by Emma Weng by there. It was a bit short returns that gave the Japanese girls an opportunity, but couldn't they couldn't take advantage of that. And in the flat game exchange, Emma was the strongest, giving them a three-point lead so far. needs 
new one. shots in a row and uh, Japanese gets the best of those frame hits. That is well in and a uh, good shot. lead so far for the Swedes. Oh, that's two miss hits, two short returns and that's probably at least too too many. into the game. Does it? Good defense there by Emily and Emma. gaming terms that would be called a headshot. Point advantage for Sweden. rally. Uh, Sweden is making a great job and then uh, winning the flat flat play exchange in the end, taking the, the point and gaining a four point advantage. So it's uh, looking a lot better now for the Swedish girls who's really gotten into this game. Drinking pause seems like a bit strange to have that when we are so close to the 11 point interval. But uh, anyway, I may have an opportunity quite soon to have a drink again. And there comes a 
Polish men double player into the court. Say hello to the girls. Ten six now. And Emily Lennartson to serve. Step, and now it's time to have a drink again. 11-6. So it's looking uh, a lot better now for the Swedes who really have gotten into this game now. And having a five point lead after 32 33 minutes of play. Okay, so we are ready to go for the second half in the second game. 11-6 lead for the Swedish girls. And it's a bit of a confusion which of the girls that should serve, I suppose. But it's uh, Emma who's starting to get ready to serve. goes for the flick serve and then it's a short return and Emma is unable to retrieve that smash from the half court. Yeah, good play by Emma intercepting the shuttle and uh, killing it and giving Lennartson the serve. that but it's on the line and it was a misjudgment from Emma giving the Japanese girls that point the command in that rally but they gave it away to the Japanese girls and oh. it's now only two points adrift she missed that one yeah, it's seems like the Swedish girl are having an advantage in a lot of the flat play exchanges so maybe they should try to get into more of those type of game situations instead of the clear game and that the Japanese girl seem to master so well oh she missed that too eager to Take advantage of the short lift. <laughs> uh, she needs that drop shot. Uh, I think 
think she hurt maybe her hand or something that had clicked. Like she hit, hit her hand with the racket. the time to check out his her hand and uh, also have a drink girls have a hard time to decide which weapon to use and she decides to go with one of her rackets and we will hope to go 11-14 play Good rally that finally gets the Japanese mistake when she's trying to drop, goes for the drop and uh, hit the net. was too weak and made it an easy job for the Japanese girl to put that smash away. It's just three points in it now after 40 minutes of total game time. Uh, Emily misses that. Necessary mistake, and it's only two points. that and it was a wise decision it was an important point I think for the Swedish girls to not get the Japanese too close in this game they need to keep the distance if they want to walk away with this game and take this into a third Good defense there, and uh, she's crouching, but she's unable to get that shuttle back. in the serve and uh, even though she took her time she placed it into the net and, uh, now it's a uh, Swedish girls time to take some time to prepare for the service Pretty high serve, but uh, it's okay. No, 
original one that tried to attack it right off the bat. And that's well out. And it's a big lead now for Emily Lennartson and Emma Wengberg. 18-14 lead. save on that yeah, good yeah. a really really good work there by the Swedish girls being uh, well under pressure but uh, coming out on top 1914. So that's only two points now from taking this into a third game. Yeah, she tried to go for that shot, but uh, the return was too good to pressure so she had to lift and then uh, Wang Bai couldn't hold the return. Uh, good smash down the middle that Emma failed to retrieve so it's, it's three points now between the two pairs in this set. Yeah, it's a good return from the flick serve and we have four game points for the Swedish girls. Now 2016 and uh, Emma Wengberg to serve. Flick serve and and uh, she, she tried to, to take the pace out of the shot and she put it into the net and it's one all after 45 minutes of play and we'll follow the third and deciding game in this match. Coming down to this third set to see which pair will 
have the opportunity to play in the final tomorrow. She left that and uh, that was a wise decision. So immediately one point advantage for the Japanese girls. Good drop. A little bit short on the clear. And uh, it's a two point advantage now. Hits that, uh, getting the opportunity after uh, the Swedish girls being a little bit too nice on some of the short lifts from the Japanese girl. But when she got the opportunity, she put it too long and uh, she wasn't ready to receive. And off we go again. Receiving flick serve from uh, Emma Wengberg gives Sweden the second point and it's to all. Good play by Japanese girl there, uh, keeping the offense and uh, finally getting the shuttle down to the floor. that well and had the racket up and ready. Mistake there again. Yeah. Seems like Koharu is maybe making the, the most mistakes of the two Japanese goals so far. Ah, it's a bit of a miss hit there on the return. Giving the Swedish girls a good opportunity, which they took advantage of. Uh, once again, she's signaling not ready. And, uh, oh, it's just out.
helped as well. Mistakes now from the Swedish team. Great smash there by Emma Wengberg in the middle, giving them a good point. And there's Mickey missing it as well. Missing the shuttle completely. That's a, that's a mistake you seldom see on this level. Great, great rally, long rally, which uh, is psychologically important probably for the Swedes to get away with uh, uh, that point. Uh, it must be frustrating for the Japanese girls who work so hard and uh, still the Swedes take the point and uh, take the lead 9-8. that it's long. No! Good back and kill by Emily Lennartson and uh, it's good for the confidence to get those points. And, uh, if they can get this point they will have a two point lead in the interval and uh, change of sides. So, uh, 
see if they can manage to do that. Even better put away by Emma Wengberg, which gives the Swedes a two-point lead in the exchange of sides here. And uh, good, good position now in the final part of the third and deciding game. is trying to keep the blood flowing and doing some jump jumping to not get cold. Hard-working rally that one, uh, and finally the Swedes missed that, and uh, we have uh, one point advantage for the Swedes. So 10-11, and Swedes make it third. Too short, and uh, it's 11 all. It's a long, long hard rallies now. Of both teams are doing their utmost. Okay, so it's a really high level now of this women's double with a few mistakes, but um, it's uh, nothing in it. her string and, uh, and placed the shuttle into the net so um, I think the, the judge gave the point to, yeah so it's, it must have dropped 
just over the net, even though she broke her strings. It's uh, very unlucky for Swedish girls. So. A ah, good kill by Toharu, and uh, we have a two point lead. So uh, it's four straight points to the Japanese girls here, and uh, it's a bit of bad run for the Swedish girls, but they got that important point, and now it's one point adrift. rally but finally the Swedish girl get the short stick and uh, we have a two point lead once again for the Japanese pair. So we are well into one hour territory now with 64 minutes of play and 14-12 is the advantage for the Japanese girls and serving. Yeah, they're really stepping up the game now, uh, pressuring the Swedish girls and uh, doing much more offensive aggressive play and that's that's giving them uh, points this stage so it seems like maybe the swedish girls are a little bit more tired going their way now it's a four point lead and uh, after the exchange of side they have won seven one against one point so it's a big big advantage now for the Japanese girls yeah and she's doing an excellent job of keeping the pressure and uh, not giving the Swedish girls any chance at all in that serve and service return. So four points only now from the final for the Japanese girls. Oh, she missed that. And uh, it's now or never, I think, for Emma and Emily. They can't get a few quick points. They uh, are probably out of this tournament. She left it and it's called on the line. And that was an important, important serve for Emily. So let's see if they can get one more point. Get close. Oh, they late and they managed to survive.
fin finally, it was a really, really important point and uh, a very, very physical, demanding rally. So, uh, it will probably come down to who wants this the most and who's got the best stamina now. If, uh, yeah, and it seems like the Japanese players want to change shuttle, but uh, Swedish girls think that shuttle is okay, so let's get it on with that. And it's two point now, and uh, mm, the, the Swedish girls are back in the opportunity, only two points away now. Long serve. Oh. She left that, and <laughs> it was a correct decision, so it's one point adrift, 16-70, third game, and uh, it's now the, the semi-final will be decided. She missed it, and uh, Emily took the opportunity. And it's 17-17. And uh, Swedes don't want to change the shuttle, but the Japanese girls, they want to change. So, and the umpire decides that, yeah, it's time to change the shuttle. So, that's 17-17. Uh, uh, probably a game of psychology at this stage. It's the frame, and we have a Swedish lead, 18-17. Yeah, the girls are taking the time. It's not, it's not a short game. It's uh, one hour and 11 minutes so far. Perfect shot by Emma. Good lift by the Japanese. Yeah, keeping it in play and then she hits it far out wide. Yeah, she's unhappy with that. And it's 18 all. So who's got the nerves? She missed it. One of those really, really, really long ladies double duels is going the way of the Swedes and they are now two points away from the final. Trying to find opportunities to rest. Uh, 
and they're even mixing up who's going to return the service okay so it's Emma's return and they're looking strong right now flick serve again and they are surviving and she misses that just after they have survived a few exchanges where they were under severely pressure she was about to turn that rally around but then she missed it and it's nothing in it so it's two points away now for both teams That was called good, both by the line judge and the main umpire. And so uh, that gives the Swedish girl match point. Japanese are very unhappy with that line call, but uh, uh, I think the umpire was very well positioned there, and uh, the line judge also felt that it was touching the line so it's 2019 and match point for Emily and Emma so let's attention so once again a quick serve and they missed it and it's all even again So after 75 minutes of play, there is really nothing between those parents. 20 all and 1-1. One, one. And she serves into the net. Talk about about uh, feeling the pressure there yeah that's a very 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 bad mistakes for the Japanese girls uh, we can't afford to serve into the net at 2020 in the decider now she got the smash and it's out and we have a Swedish women doubles pair in the finals tomorrow with Emily Lennartson and Emma Wingberg taking the final set 22-20 and giving Sweden its first final pair and they are so happy the girls and it took them 76 minutes of hard work to earn this very very nice victory for the second seeds in this Swedish international Stockholm tournament and they are tired but happy and the Japanese girls of course are very very disappointed to lose this game so yeah it's, it's a great great match and some great women's doubles to present. and now the boys are eager to get it on with men's doubles here that they have been waiting and waiting and waiting uh, on the sides to get their opportunity to play their their semi-final here and the girls have just been going on and working 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 so now we will have two men double pairs that really really want to have a quick win and get into the finals tomorrow. We will follow the Danish pairing, pair of uh, Rasmussen and uh, uh, Kim Astrup Sørensen. They're pretty young pair that we've been seeing on a couple of Swedish tournaments. They will play against uh, Jacko Ahrens and Jelle Maas 
from the Netherlands. So I think that it will be a tight match. The, 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 the Dutch guys are seeded, but uh, I know from experience that the young Danish pair is uh, getting improved for each time I see them, so they're getting better and better, so it will be by no means uh, a walk in the park, I think, for the Dutch pair. But we'll see, after warm-up, we'll comment on that match and uh, see how it goes.